It's a very easy exam to do. Blanca Lozano is getting a quick painless screening to see if her carotid arteries are wide open and feeding precious blood to her brain. The reassuring sound of blood rushing through the vessels in her neck means Blanca is at low risk of having a stroke. Lozano, how are you feeling? All right. That wasn't the case just a few years ago, when a 90% blockage of her carotid artery threatened Blanca's health, perhaps even her life. He says it's uh, from brain to the heart to the brain. It's uh, blocked. So I'm scared about it. So a medium spring. In procedures like this one at Baptist Medical Center in San Antonio, vascular surgeons clean out plaque encrusted arteries in a procedure called a carotid endarterectomy. Dr. Gerardo Ortega with Peripheral Vascular Associates says blockage of a blood vessel in the neck is a frequent cause for stroke, leading to about 140,000 procedures each year in the U.S. Sometimes if the patient is having no symptoms at all and we picked it up on a routine physical exam and then we propose an operation to fix it, he says, wait a minute, I feel good. I mean, how can you make me better when I feel good already? But the problem is if you have a stroke, you may not recover from that. The immediate result from this gold standard surgery is dramatic. See, this is what causes the stroke. You see, the blood is running through this and a little bit of this cholesterol plaque flips up to the brain and you have a stroke. When the patient's artery is clear, surgeons can literally hear the difference. For patients who are not candidates for open surgery, there is an alternative, a carotid stenting procedure using this tiny device, similar to what's used in the heart. Here's a look at patient Curtis Johnson's blocked carotid. Dr. Grady Alsabrook of PVA and his team at Northeast Baptist Hospital thread a catheter through the groin to get to the narrowed vessel. Don't breathe, don't move. The result is immediate and dramatic, shown on screen when dye is used under imaging. This tiny metal device can make a world of difference for patients like Curtis, who was awake for the procedure and fascinated. It's awesome, really, because I'm watching it on the monitor. And when they said, oh, this has caused a stroke, you know, most people are scared of surgery. This made me want it. Ooh, doesn't that look good? The images confirm what Alsobrook needs to know. Curtis's future health just got a little more secure. That dye study shows that both the front and middle parts of his brain are filling absolutely normally with all that brand new blood flow. So how are you doing today? Was maybe in. Blanca returns to PVA about every six months to make sure her arteries aren't getting blocked up again. As a diabetic with blood pressure issues, she's still at risk. But for now, her physician says she's doing well. She's one of Dr. Ortega's many success stories. Very good. So you need to find, uh, you know, a physician that has been doing this for a while, a physician that does it all the time, basically a specialist in these type of procedures because the results are much better. Experts with years of experience preventing strokes with the latest technology. That's the difference. That's Baptist care. For more information, log on to bhsvascular.com or call 297-7005. For the Baptist Health News Network, I'm Wendy Rigby.